Okay, today is algebra practice problems number one. All right, I know. You getting tired of equations yet? Yeah, well, too bad. We're going to do them all week. They're going to get a little... This one isn't too bad. It's similar to what you did yesterday. Uh, then tomorrow we're going to add a step, and then Thursday another step, and then by Friday you'll be algebra ready. All right? So let's... Um, Let's get this down, all right? This one is very similar to what you've already seen. There shouldn't be any uh, new pieces in this one. Uh, the numbers may be a little bit more difficult than yesterday's numbers, uh, but uh, really overall the same thing. Let's look at number two for those of you who freak out, okay, because x over 5 is the same thing as x over 5. But some of you freak out and can't get that. you got to have it written like this. So this is a fraction. This is a fraction. Some of you also are struggling with these. And I think it's because you're not paying attention when I'm giving the instruction. Because these are easy as pie. Let me tell you. When you have x over a number, just multiply each side of the equation by the inverse, which would be 5 over 1 and 5 over 1. That means this 5 cancels that 5. You end up with x equals negative 2 times 5, which is negative 10. These should not be a problem if you're paying attention to the instructions I've given you. Some of you are having problems with them because you're not paying attention. So, you know what I say, when I'm talking, what should you be doing? You got it. So, listening. I know you said that in your head anyways. All right, so let's, I'm going to do number four for you. Okay, let's look at number four. Oh my goodness, I got a negative 7x is equal to negative 84. Divide this side by negative 7. Divide this side by negative 7. That leaves you x is equal to, well, let's explore. Negative divided by negative is going to give you a positive. So you, don't, you know you've got that. I'm going to come over here and write 84 divided by 7. Well, 7 goes into 8. One time, bring down minus, I got one, bring down my four, seven goes into 14, two. Looked scary, wasn't scary at all, was it? Okay, break it down, it's easy as can be. So what are you going to do over here when you come across this? Oh no, I'm going to freak. Okay, what are you going to do? Just if you have to, write it as x over 2 is equal to negative 1. Whatever's underneath that divided by sign, because remember, this is a divided by sign, multiply by the reciprocal, okay? And then if you multiply by the reciprocal, then you're going to multiply this side by 2, multiply this side by 2. They're going to cancel each other out. You end up with x is equal to negative 1 times 2 is negative 2. The more you do these, the easier they become. Okay? Oh, let's see. About when are you going to start to panic? Hmm. Let's look at the back side. Let's see if there's anything. Oh, look at that. It gets a little more interesting, doesn't it? Those look a little bit more like yesterday's, don't they? Mm-hmm. So I want you to practice those. I'll do one just to be nice, okay? So what do you want? 17, 18, I know I'm talking to myself in this room doing this video. I'm so, I, I, I need you all to be talking back to me. Um, all right, let's do, I don't know, uh, let's do number 23. How about that? Okay, so number 23, I have a, a variable and a variable, and then I have a constant, and here's a constant. Can't do anything with this one right now, so I'm going to write negative 37. I have to combine these two variables. 
A negative 3 and a negative 6 gives me negative 9x. Don't have anything to do with that one yet, so just bring it down. Okay? Next, get rid of this on this side because it wants to be with its friends over there. You see their constants, their friends. Variables only like to hang out with variables. Constants only like to hang out with constants. So we got to get them on different sides of this equation. Those cancel those out. We get negative 9x is equal to, oh Lord, for those of you who don't like this, negative 37 and negative 8. You combine two negatives, you get negative 40. Ooh, am I going to do that wrong? That would be, no, negative 45. I'm okay. Oh my goodness, it's late. All right. Next, I'm going to have to get rid of this negative 9, so divide by exactly negative 9, and I end up with x is equal to a negative divided by a negative gave me a positive, negative divided by a negative gave me a positive, 45 divided by 9. Well, for those of you that don't know, that is 5. All right? Have a great day.